Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe and be part of our family. And before we start with today's topic, please don't forget to like this video, share with others, do subscribe if you are new here and follow me on Instagram for some extra motivation. You can see my Instagram handle on the screen and do let me know if there is a topic you want me to cover if you have any queries and any feedback is always welcome. Without further ado, let's get started. Hey everybody, so in this lecture, in this video, we're going to create a function to find palindrome to find if given string is a palindrome using recursive function i created a video on recursive function way back if you want you can check that i'll put put link link somewhere for that uh, but um it, it wasn't about palindrome obviously so we'll start with a little definition of recursive function and then we will code the code okay so recursive function is a function that calls itself so for example here this function this is how you define a function right so def func one and inside the body this function is calling itself right so this is a recursive function right and this is the syntax for recursive function this is how you create it so you will have name of the function right and then inside the body somewhere you will be using name of the function again to call this function okay and there are two parts in a recursive function base part and recursive part recursive function meaning that you will call this function over and over right so this fun you will not call it this function will automatically call itself over and over so that being said it also means that this function is going to call itself over and over and over and over so it's kind of it can go uh, it can create an infinite loop okay so you need a strategy or you need a way to end that to stop this function uh, at a point at some point okay so for that we have base part right so base part is basically to just it will stop the function right now uh, speaking of palindromes a string with one element is a palindrome okay so if a string has one element it is a palindrome you need to remember that now what are we going to do is uh, because we will need uh, some strategy right for the function for for this uh, I mean we need to create a logic so what can that logic be so for a recursive function what we're going to do is we're going to have our string and so let's say we have madam as our string and what we're going to do is we're going to create a function a recursive function and this function is going to this function is going to compare first and last first and the last element of character of this string that's it so this is what this function is going to do it, it is always going to compare first and last character of the string okay and that would mean what, what that means is that it, it's always going to create first and la last character of given string of a string that will be uh, passed to this function right it will receive some arguments here parameters and so we're going to create a logic uh, accordingly right 
and for every for every every time we call this function we're going to so for the first part okay let me just uh, tell you how, how i'm going to do it so for the first part i'm going to pass this whole string right and as per the logic function will compare first character with the last one okay for the next iteration for the next recursion we're going to pass this substring so we are for every turn for every, every time this function is being called it's going to take some part of the string so it is going to exclude the elements it has already compared and it's going to compare the first and last element of the substring okay and so we will be using slicing here i hope you remember slicing we will be using uh, slicing so let's dive right into it okay i'm going to create a file here and we need name of function so let's say name of the function is uh pal pal something and this function is going to receive an argument so let's say that argument is s and so i told you that if uh, we have only one character it is a palindrome okay so for now i'm going to create two cases here base part and recursive part so for for the base part i'm going to put something that will just finish or terminate the function okay so i'm going to say if we have len function to calculate the length of of the given string so if s is less than 1 which means it's an empty string right we are going to print or let's just say yeah we will not print we will return true okay otherwise if now we are going to compare the first part and the last part what am i writing here of the string so first element if it is equal to last one is going to be minus 1 i hope you remember this right we are leftmost and extreme right so if this is true we are going to return what what are we going to do okay see so let's say this is our string okay um okay so this is our string so it's going to compare first and last part so m and m right two m's if these are equal so we have same letter what is what will it do we are going to return and in return we're actually going to call the function again so this is where so we're actually going to call the function again and this time we are going to pick this um this one substring ada right and i asked you to remember slicing uh, i hope you remember if you want to pick a part of the string a slice from the string you can have a start stop and stop so start would mean that whatever you want to include will be the start will be the starting okay so in this case i don't want to include the first part the first character that would be s0 right i want to include character at first position this is 0 1 2 right so i don't want zeroth element i want first so i'm going to write s1 here s1 okay and stop and step i'm not going to provide any step here 
stop element would be so stop will be excluded obviously so it's going to be minus one so it will uh, it will start with a and end at a okay so minus one right now in in return statement what it, what is it returning it is returning this call call to the function pal right so when this is returned this string will be passed to this function again okay and this time it will when 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 it goes to this else block it will compare zeroth element and rightmost right so that would be a and a again equal right so if these both elements are equal m and m it's going to call the function again to see if the rest of the elements are equal or not otherwise obviously if these two elements are not equal there is no doesn't make sense you don't have to proceed right so it will return false right that should be the right yeah so after it compares a and a we will be uh, will be left with d only so for that it will be one and minus one that's like one element only so d will be passed here and length is obviously not less than zero and so in the end uh, we will have an empty string and so length will be less than zero so it will come out of it it will return true right so i hope you understand um now we need to have a variable here so let's say we have var and you can i'm going to we are going to use input function obviously so enter a string and if so var is the string so if var so we are going to pass var to this function pal right so let me know if you're not able to understand so once you pass this you're just going to compare if it returns true right yeah so if it returns true you can you can print this palindrome else not a palindrome okay so for example let's just say uh, instead of m a d a m you have hello right so hello is not a palindrome so in that case this function is going to compare h and o right so in the this block else block it's going to compare first and last character this is not going to be executed because this condition is going to go false right so it will it will return false it's not gonna uh, go into recursion right so that's how it, it is actually working so in that case it's just going to go return false in other cases it is going to take the substrings and in the end when a string is empty or um you know uh, like it has compared all the elements it's going to return uh, true and let's see i'm going to save it
Italian drawn Crochet Okay, I'm gonna run it So under a string it is a palindrome okay let's run it again okay i hope you can see so this time i'm giving this hello so it's not a palindrome i hope it's clear if it's not clear please let me know and i'll see you in the next lecture uh, we're going to create another function to find factorial of a number using recursion again. So I'll see you in the next video lecture. Till then, take care.